Visit ShopBloodyHarry.com for your chance to win one of three Bloody Harry hoodies. All you have to do is subscribe to our newsletter and you'll be entered to win. Drawing's coming up in October, so be sure you visit now. Babe, I'm going to jail. What? Back here in the sheriff's office. The reason I got you stopped she didn't come to a full, complete stop me. back there at the stop yeah. sign. So we're just uh, going to this fireworks store to go and talk to one of the managers. They called about a possible embezzlement from one of their employees. I guess one of their employees apparently took some items from the store they weren't supposed to. So they're asking for kind of guidance on what they should do for this incident. Um, sounds like they're trying to give her the benefit of bringing the items back before they file a report on her. So we're going to talk to them and um, see if they want to just call her in for work. I think she's on the schedule to work tomorrow. So we'll see if that works out and hopefully she returns her items. And if not, then we'll see if they want to do a report. But let's see, who are we looking for manager-wise? Miguel. We're going to find the manager and see if we can uh, resolve this without having to get her in trouble. Don't know what her past is, but it's right there. Hello. How are you today? Good. I'm looking for is, is Miguel? Yeah, Miguel. Oh, look, speaking of poopy, they have a poopy puppy. <laughs> <laughs> so we came to this uh, local fireworks store and after getting more info they called it originally for a theft after getting more info from the manager the uh, employee is seen on camera taking two separate deposits um, and not depositing them into the safe which is the money that's unaccounted for it totals over $2,700 which in Nevada makes it a felony embezzlement. So they said otherwise they've had no issues with this employee. It's kind of the first time thing they've noticed. So they're gonna try and have her, she's scheduled to work tomorrow. So we're gonna come back when she's supposed to be here for work tomorrow. They're gonna try and get her to pay them back without having to file charges. However, if she doesn't pay them back or for some reason says she didn't do it and we have the video evidence and all that stuff to show that she did, then it'll be a felony charge so she'll go to jail for that. So we're gonna come back tomorrow morning and talk to her while she's here with the manager, see if we can get out of her and hopefully she wises up and just pays them back the money, otherwise she'll be facing the felony charge. So this truck in front of us just uh, rolled through the intersection, tried to stop, but he was already well past the stop sign, so we'll, we'll get him stopped here. Saw seven traffic. Yeah, seven, go ahead. The Gamebird and Oak Ridge on Nevada 648 X-ray 70 via white Dodge pickup truck. Copy. Recording. How you doing? I'm Deputy Champlain with the Sheriff's Office. I'm oh, well. I am. Reason I got you stopped, you didn't come to a full, complete stop me. back there at the stop you sign. You got your driver's license, yeah, registration, yeah, I got insurance? Yeah, gun on me, too. Okay. I got my CCW. Don't reach for yours, I don't I reach for reaching. mine. <laughs> yeah, no. This ain't like a show off here. Here's mine. 
Yeah, I grab my stuff out of there. there we yep, that's good. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Just hang tight. Hmm. All his paperwork looks good. He said he had a CCW, so we'll see if it comes back with that. Uh, CCW, it's a concealed carry weapon permit. Uh, most people have them for firearms uh, to be able to conceal carry them on their person. Uh, he didn't, I didn't see any firearms, but he just let me know that he had one. So I'm assuming there's a firearm in the car. He said he had a firearm in the car. Uh, it's pretty normal out here. Usually uh, people either have a CCW or are very uh, fond of their second amendment. So guns are pretty, pretty normal. Seven clear for traffic. So clear for traffic. It's they're probably letting me know that he has a CCW or a warrant. Seven good. Seven seven left in McLean first of James. Theodore returns with a CCW for handgun. He is also returning at negative one with a valid Class C Charles. Got the go for. All right, so we'll get him out of here with the warning. No tickets tonight for him. All right, James, just gonna be a warning on the Thank you. on the stop sign. Make sure you come to a full and complete, no motion, you. and then go. All right. I didn't. He saw you, but I didn't. So I didn't yeah, he just were like, I'm he's going. He's like, dude, 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 the cop right there. He's like, stop. Like, Too late. I rolled it. <laughs> Too late. Have a, Have a great night, guys. So right now we're going to a dead body at Desert View Hospital. Um, it basically says that the decedent was brought in and she was pronounced deceased at 12.07. So we're going to go and um, investigate this uh, dead body and make sure it's nothing suspicious. And then from there we'll conduct our investigation. So we are currently encroaching on a residence where we believe somebody with a felony warrant is present. Um, we've got an anonymous tip, so we're going to gather a few more units and we're going to surround it and try to make contact with this individual. He uh, has actually run from us. His warrant is nationwide out of a different county, but we've been looking for him for a while. Um, he has appeared to evade our capture for quite some time and now we have reason to believe that this is where he's at so this might be a good uh, arrest for us if we can end up getting him <laughs> sheriff's office <laughs> uh, are you ashley yeah. are you here alone yeah are you sure yeah can i come in and check <laughs> Last time Ronnie was here. When Not today? Nope. This is your last opportunity. Do you have dogs? Um, no, I'm watching the house. Sheriff's office! If you're inside, make yourself known now! Thank you. 
other side of town. Were you were you here all day today? Yeah. Were you with anyone inside your camper today? My daughter. Any Mel's? Nope. Can I show you a video? Yeah. Oh, my mom had um, a guy down the street bring me Kathy, a baby Kathy. Other than him? Nope. No one else? Nope. And he wasn't even in the camper. He just came, like, right over there. What if I was to tell you that I have video proof that Ronnie is here today? I would say that that's better than a fake video. Who lives in here? No one. No one's in there? Who owns that property? Or owns um, this property? Um, my grandpa. Do you have access to this house? Yeah, you can check in there too. Are you okay with us checking in there? What yeah. about all the other campers that are here? You're fine to check everything. We're, we're okay to check everything? Mm -hmm. Alright. How do we, uh, is it locked or is it unlocked? Um, it should be, um, unlocked. Okay. Is there anybody in there? No, there's just two puppies. There's, you gotta there's, check the trailer yet? There's two puppies. This one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's not in here. There's two puppies in there. And a rabbit that I didn't try to get rid of because people left them here. You want to check that? She gave us consent. It's just here that lives. It's just her that lives on the property. I can assure yourself is Sheriff's office. So we went to this residence for a report of a wanted person. Um, he has a nationwide warrant. Uh, the person on the property gave us consent to go and look for him. He wasn't here. Um, he may have taken off on foot prior. We don't know exactly where he might be at this time. So we're just going to run the area for a minute and uh, see if we don't come across him. But this one's a bust. So yesterday we had a call at this fireworks store for a theft apparently um, it was a call in that an employee had stolen some stuff a, a day or so prior so anyway we responded and uh, ended up getting information that well probable cause that this employee did in fact steal a felony amount of deposited money so the store is trying to give this 
young lady the benefit of the doubt and turn the money in before she goes to jail for a felony. So today, the next day, is when she comes into work. So she's supposed to be she was supposed to be here at 7:45. So we'll go in here in a minute, make contact with the uh, manager, and see if she's here, so we can talk to her and figure out what's going to happen with this whole money situation. I'm going to get all of the footage on a, I didn't put it on a little external drive, but I'm going to have all of that. I don't know if, um, do I need to, what all do I need to do to uh, file a report? Um, so pretty much, Recording. You do, if you want to write a statement, you can. Okay. You don't have to, it's voluntary. I mean, I saw the video for the, well, the one alone is a felony amount anyways. Right. So I saw that one. Um, so the footage is good. Already talked to you. Um, I just got to write down the, the times again. Okay. So yeah, I can get the specific time for you. So it was, uh, what was the, what was the one, the $2,100 yeah, day was 20, that? Is that on your desk? Yeah, it should be on the desk. I'm I want to say it was 2157. I say I thought it was like that. Yeah, 2157, and I think the other one was 456. And then what date was the 2157 uh, again? The 2157, that was the second day, so that was on the 16th, July 16th. Um, on this embezzlement call, this employee stole a little over almost three thousand dollars from his business, and everything's on camera. Everything is captured, and they're in store camera, so we we observed that. So we know she did it. We have probable cause for the crime, which is a felony, um, given the amount that she took. She was supposed to be on the schedule today for work. They were going to just talk to her and see if she had any valid or foul valid excuse for why she took the money um see if they could handle it internally before they press charges for the felony however she decided to call off work today conveniently so um since she called off store manager was like well she's playing games with us so we're just going to go ahead and press charges for the embezzlement so we're doing the case right now he's getting some evidence together for us so that we can upload that in our case <laughs> And then uh, after we finish up here, we're going to go try and see if she might be at a residence and make contact with her. Just keep on this. Just keep on that. Sorry, I ruined whatever. My back. <laughs> Way to go. Sorry, dude. Sorry for my partner and his outburst. I ruined me. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, it's my birthday. Raina. Maller. There's like a locust plague over here. Sheriff's office. Hello, Sheriff's Office. Yeah. All right, we're looking for uh, Raina Maller. <coughs> Raina Maller. She lives in the back. She lives in the back? Yeah. Is she home right now? I don't know. I just woke up. Okay, just around this side? She might be <coughs> around the same way. Just around this way? No, the gate's on the side. The gate side. is the... Uh, I can't open the door because it's like off. Okay. Uh, around the corner there, the gate him. Wait a minute, he'll come out. Here, let me see. If the truck's there, she's probably at work. Okay. Is she around the? Is, she, is there a way to get around this way or no? Uh, Only way is this way. Uh, yeah, no, it's that's why we're here. Does she live alone or? Huh? Does she live without anybody, anybody else? Yeah, Darren's there. Okay. Yeah, just go to the door. Eight and logging out the Arizona plate. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Sheriff's office. Hey, buddy.
Gary. Cheers, Lovis. Aaron. Hey. Reina. What happened? Hello, Reina. Cheers, Lovis. Hi. We're here for Reina. Hi, I'm here to speak to Reina. Reina? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay. Can you get your dog? Yeah, come on, get him. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he. Are you Reina? Yes, sir. My partner needed to talk to you. Hello. How you doing? Good. Which one? That'd be just oh, me. Okay. Hey, that'd be justice, chair's office. So, um, you work over at the fireworks place? Yes, sir. Okay. So, before I start, all right, I'm just going to read this to you. Got to ask you a couple questions. All righty. So. I should advise you of these things real quick. Maybe we just wake you guys up? Yeah, I just woke up. I've, I've been, uh, me and my son's been puking all night. Oh, okay. All right, so I'm just going to read you uh, your rights real quick, okay? So you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be used against you in court. So you I'm going to jail? No, I didn't say that. We just got to ask you questions oh, okay. first. Because my, my dad's a, a cop in Arkansas, so when mm -hmm. he reads rights, he usually go to jail. So I'm like, hey, uh, that's, a, that's a TV thing. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay, no, sorry. But when we're investigating a crime, we ask certain questions. i got to advise you of those. Okay. So you do have the right to maintain silent. Anything you say may be used against you in court. Okay. You have the right to the presence of an attorney before and during any questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, you will not be appointed for you free of charge before any questioning if you want. Do you understand your rights? Yes, sir. Okay. So... I'm here specifically to inquire about two incidences, two times while you're at the fireworks store, okay? Uh -huh. So, before I start, is there anything you want to tell me before I, uh, why, why I might be here? Okay, um, I, I kind of think so because um, my boss messaged me about Monday uh, and Tuesday saying that there's um, some deposits missing or something like that. Okay. And um, I told her, I said, well, I didn't close out Monday. Mm -hmm. Tuesday, I closed out and I dropped one drop that was there. So, and um, I said, that, so that's the only thing I have to do with it. It was Tuesday the 16th? Yes. Okay. Um, so, you know, you're aware, obviously, there's cameras all over there and right. all that stuff, all right? So, on one day, on the 15th, about 124, there's some time frame after that, right? Um, you're seen with taking the money from the one place inside the office and going around to the other place inside where the safe is, right? And then that deposit does never makes it to where it needs to be. Now I think that was for like four hundred and something dollars. Okay. And then the second one was on the sixteenth, okay, at about uh, two twenty. Um, that was for like two twenty one hundred dollars, the big deposit, right? Mm -hmm. So on that one, you got your, you take the money and you have a folder with you, and then you go into where the bank deposit area is in the safe. Um, you have two bundles, one's on the outside of your folder, one's on the inside of your folder. You take one from the outside of your folder put that in the in the safe the one on the inside of your folder you stays there you tuck it under your arm all right and you took a piece of paper from your folder over the money mm. okay and then you walk to the front of the store where your register's at and then on that camera we can see you taking that little bindle of twenty one hundred dollars and then sliding it into your personal folder and then you put the paper back in that one folder you had put that folder back put your personal notebook back away and then at the end of the day, you leave with that notebook and that money is obviously hasn't been deposited. Hmm. So does any of that sound like anything that you want to fess up to? I mean, on Monday, I didn't, I didn't do nothing on Monday. I swear on that, but Tuesday, I didn't. The $2,100? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you obviously, you took that money. Okay, was was the reason behind that? So I'll I'll be straight with you. So it gives us probable cause for embezzlement, right? Because your employee there, that was their money. He took that money. Okay, today um, they were gonna have you come in. Miguel's trying to work with you, and he's gonna have you come in. They were gonna explain that stuff to you that they found on the camera, what they saw. They said generally you're a good employee. They have no issues with you, and they were trying to give you the benefit of the doubt to see if you'd return the money before they press charges. Um, but then you called out today. Yeah, because me and my son were both like, we've been puking all night. And my mm -hmm. son's only two years old, so. Okay, you, just under, you understand how it looks, right? Because yes, obviously you know, they're investigating now the money missing and they're supposed to show up, you don't show up, right? Right, no, I totally understand that. And then, so now we're here, right? So right. for your information, the amount of money that you took for the embezzlement uh, comes out to a felony amount. Oh, Yeah. Shit. So they were, like I said, they were trying to work with you. 
Um, you didn't show up today, so they're like, well, we just want to press charges, which will correlate with you going to jail for the felony. Oh, shit. So, did you already spend the money? Um, I did. You did already? Okay. So, there's no way to get that money back at all? Um, I could probably have it back within, like, a day or two. What'd you I could borrow To be honest with you, um, yeah. I was living in the other RV, and I needed, and there was no AC or nothing, and my son's too. Mm-hmm. And it was, so I, I, I really bought this right here. Why, why did you take the money in the first place? Because we like to understand the, the why. Yeah. Like, because yeah. like I said, like I had no AC, I had no nothing for my son. And so I was just trying to get something better. And uh, the other 400 that was missing that they haven't found either, you use that too? No, sir, I didn't. I swear I did not touch that one. Okay. But I did take on Tuesday, I did. But like I said, just because you didn't show up, you wanted to press charges. Um, you know, I could recall him and see if he wanted to change his mind because of what you spent it on. Ultimately, though, it comes down to whatever, you know, like I said, he's a store manager, so that's a lot of money for them to, right. to lose. Mm -hmm. So um, I can let him know that you were honest about it, and you told us what you spent it on, you took it for that reason, and then um, see what he says. But like I said, if he doesn't have a change of heart, then unfortunately you got to go for that. Okay. You know what I mean? Hi, Miguel, Deputy Justice. Not too bad. So um, we're out with Raina, and she's being kind of she's been pretty honest with us. So I just told her I'd afford her the opportunity of giving you another call real quick. Um, so she was honest about the twenty one hundred dollars. She still is claiming that she didn't take the other four hundred, um, but she said she told her she took the twenty one hundred dollars because uh, she was in an RV here with no AC, and uh, she did it for her kid. And then she said she called out today because her and her kid have been sick all last night and this morning. So I told her it doesn't change the crime, um, but I told her that I would afford her the phone call to you just since she's being cooperative with us. And um, ultimately, like I said, if, I told her if, she, you know, if it's uh, still the same going forward with everything, then she's gonna go to jail for it, which she understands. Um, but I said, I, if not, I just give you a call just, just, just to, cause she's being cool with us. So that was all. And then she said that, and that all, she also said that she did, like I said, spend it to get AC in that trailer. And she said if she she could have it, the the full amount, she could have it in like a day or two. So I told her, I was like, well, I'll see. No promises, but I'll give him a call. Okay, so Miguel is still, he's like, yeah, unfortunately, since since he did spend it already, um, he still wanted to go forward with everything. All right. Um, I'd say the only good thing you have going for you is, you know, you were honest and everything like that. So a judge is going to see your cameras and our conversation that we've had. Um, it's going to be in the report that you were honest, you know, as soon as I talked to you about it. Um, and I obviously wouldn't know what you spent the money on, what you use it for and the reason for it. So when you go to court, you know, a judge is going to have to read all our reports and see all that stuff. So I'm going to jail. Unfortunately, you have to get booked for a court date and start the process. Ultimately, you can still bail out or you can even be released on your own recognizance, but we have to take you to the office to book you through the process. And like my partner just explained, and like I just talked to you about a minute ago, you know, we're not here just to railroad you. You know, we're going to put in the facts of what you told us, why you, the decision that you did, and all that kind of stuff to put the humanity side of it, okay? But ultimately, we can't sit here and just provide you a court date out here <laughs> in, your, in, in your residence. We have to take you to the jail, take pictures, fingerprints. Um, give you your formal paperwork, and then we can start that court that court process. But um, yes, you you, you unfortunately are going to arrest. Okay. Can I tell my husband? Yeah. Yeah, we can figure everything out. Um, we don't want you just going back inside just for our policy and procedure no, purposes of it. No, I'm just going to open the door. Okay. Babe, I'm going to jail. Why? Because I took some money, I guess, from work. I took money from work, so. Um, you think Mary will get me out? Give me a kiss. Yeah. Put your palms together like you're clapping or you're praying. South 
So ultimately made contact with her. She was honest about why she took the money. Unfortunate circumstances, she took it because of her living situation with her child to get a AC out here in the heat, which is understandable. Um, unfortunately, since she did call off and didn't have any communication with the work and she already spent the money, they still want to push the charges for the felony. So I can't make them not be a victim. I even called the manager on scene just to explain it to him, see if he changed his mind, which um, said it's too late. So she's going to go to jail for the felony. Only good thing for her, she has no previous history with us here. So as long as she is cooperative and everything with the judge, she has a good possibility of getting an OR and a reduced charge in the uh, outcome of it. So. We're going to transport her down to jail, get her processed in, and hopefully it'll get her out sooner than uh, later.